morning everybody welcome to day nine yes day nine um we don't have an advent calendar to open this morning do we do we i can't have shut the safety gate properly last night we have a safety gate on the door here and i can't have shut it properly Somehow, she's got my advent, my basket down where all my advents were. And when I got up this morning, the carnage that was in the lounge. Open. Bar one. All open. Stuff everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Um... Luckily, and very, very luckily, there was no chocolate in the advent calendar that Danny had made me. And I don't think, I haven't found any evidence, but there was no chocolate in the um, calendar that Shelley had made me. I've already been hoovering up this morning the remnants of bath bombs and candles. So, there is no advent calendars this morning. Danny's trying to sort out the yarn as best he can. Some of it, I think, may have been ruined. Um, but we'll see what we can do. So, anyway, never mind. My own fault. Couldn't write it. You just couldn't write it. And the stupid thing is, the absolute thing that gets me more than anything is, um, Shelley, what's that? There's, there's a bit of yarn left on the floor, Finn, will you grab that yarn? Luigi's got it, hang on. Sorry, I must have missed some. Luigi had some yarn on the floor. Um, the worst of it is, my friend Shelley, her advent calendar, her dog got, it's just, I can't believe it. The, the craziness of it. I'm just like, how does that even happen? Happen to me. So, Danny's just trying to sort it out. Um, like I said, some of the skeins of yarn are absolutely ruined. Um, but he's going to do what he can and try and sort it out. But yeah, the advent calendar this morning. I have my candle one. My candle one is intact. Anywhere, never mind, it's not the end of the world, it's only Advent. Mm. Mm. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go, I'll be back. Oh my god, it is so cold, it's ridiculous, it's minus two degrees. I am just gonna make a coffee. Here's Jack. Where is he? Jack, Jack. <laughs> he always says hello to you, doesn't he? So I'm just making a coffee and I'm going to try and warm up. Danny has rescued most of the yarn. Um, we didn't have any bags left, so we've not wrapped it. He's just going to give me one each morning. Um, and he's going to try and remember which order his was in. <laughs> so today's one, I will show you. Just one second. It's this one. It's like yellow and black. It's beautiful. So, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to sit and work on my socks for a little bit. I've got so much cleaning to do today. It's ridiculous. I cannot sit and knit for the entire day. <laughs> We've been busy this morning, but I've got to hoover all upstairs. I need to clean the bathroom. Jack's trying to get my milk. Um, so I'm just going to have a, a little bit of time. I'm watching some vlogmas. I've just watched day seven of Denise and I'm just watching day... Oh, sorry, Rubes. Oh, my God. I've just walked into the dog. You all right, darling? Hang on. Yeah, so I'm just watching day eight at the moment of Denise. I'm going to finish watching that and do some work on my socks. And then I am going to do some cleaning. Clean the bathroom and hoover upstairs. Oh, I need to clean the hamster out as well. 
Let me get that done. She's got a, a little treat to have, so I'm going to give her that once I've cleaned her out. Um, Danny's children are coming about six-ish, I think. So we're going to have tea before they get here. I'm going to have spaghetti bolognese tonight. I've got some garlic bread and spaghetti bolognese. And then I'm going to find a Christmas film to watch this afternoon. I've watched, if any of you have Disney, that kettle's probably really loud. Let me move away from it. On Disney, there's a film called Godmothered. Oh, my God, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. So if you have Disney, watch Godmothered. It's brilliant. I started watching that the night before last, but fell asleep. So I finished watching it last night. It was really, really good. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. We just need to go to the chemist. Yeah. We are freezing. Finlay's not freezing. Finlay's fine. Yeah. Mr. Hot Water Bottle <laughs> over there. I'm freezing. But it's only a really short walk. Uh, hang on, darling. There's a car coming. Oh, dear. Finlay's got really sore lips. He gets them every winter and we've got no Vaseline in. Yeah. Bet you can't hear me, can you? <laughs> He's um, now have to put Vaseline on his lips. Yeah. Not his lips, here. Yeah. We're going to get that. And we are freezing, freezing, freezing. Well, I am. <laughs> yeah. It's about four o'clock. Oh, got all my jobs done. All my cleaning done. The hamster was not impressed when I cleaned the cage out. She'd made the best den ever. Mm -hmm. And I felt really bad destroying it. Bless her. She'd made like a, like an igloo that she like, it had like a tunnel section on that you crawled into before you got into the bed. I felt well bad. Mm -hmm. Look at them birds. Yeah. So she was not impressed with me. And she was all snuggly and warm before I cleaned her out as well. And I had to wake her up to empty a cage. I felt so bad. Yeah. Oh, it's a little bit frosty. Yeah. Right, we are going to go. Oh, that's ice. Be careful. Oh, goodness. No, darling, don't fall off. Oh. <laughs> the ice just looked like it fell it was, Josh did slip on ice one time. On that path you were running across the path. Yeah, and there's more here. Give me your hand. Ooh, right, just be careful. Somebody's obviously... It's not icy on the path, but someone's... I'll show you. And you see, and all down there, that's ice. Somebody's obviously poured hot water on the windscreen or something. On this side. Right, we're going to go. The speed of that car! Speedy. Goodness! There was no need for that. No, there was need for speed. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Yeah. Hello. It's half past five, or just after half past five. We have had tea. Everything is done for the evening. <clears throat> um, do you want to see a little update on the Advent projects? So this was today's yarn. I absolutely love it. I managed to get two squares out of this one. So this is for the um, granny square cardigan. I absolutely love this. I find it so interesting, the difference between knitting something and crocheting it, the difference that it makes. If I show you my socks, where did I put them? Down, missus, just for a minute. So here are the socks. Sit down, darling. Just sit there for a second. I've kept up. <laughs> so these are the socks. And that is that same yarn there. Doesn't it look so different? It's crazy, isn't it? Difference between knitting and crochet. I'm going to have to get Danny to dye me a main skein of this one. So I can make something big in crochet. It just reminds me of like leopard print. I love it. So... The socks are at just over five inches and I've got to knit the leg for nine inches. So I just want to make sure I get all of the advents in it. So there's a couple of times where I've only put five rows in and a couple of times where I've put ten rows in. Um, just to make sure I hit everything. I need, if I'm going to do ten rounds for the 
10 rounds of each stripe for the foot, I'm going to need six plus the heels and toes, which is eight, which means I need to use 16 for the leg. And I've used nine so far, so another seven. That was really hard to work that maths out. So another seven. So each one of the, can you see there's like a, a stocking, well, a rib stitch and then there's these two pearl bumps here and here and this bit's just rib. So this section here is two inches. So I just want to work out, I've got another uh, seven colours to put in. One of those colours is going to be the rib above the heel. So another six colours to do, which if I do, uh, I don't know, I'll work it out and my brain's just not working this out. But yeah, I'm going to make sure I get all 24 colours in on these. But yeah, I'm really liking how they're working up. They look small, but they are super, super stretchy. They are slouch socks and they are very, very stretchy. So that is those. I've not done my C2C yet for today. I'm doing that after I've finished my granny squares. Um, but I will show you it. Let me just pop that back over there. Hang on a sec. Um, so we're on row three now. looking like that. I really like it. And I've not put any in the triangulum for a few days. Um, I haven't had time for the triangulum one, but as long as I keep up, I did say that there could be a fourth project, maybe not. As long as I keep up with the ones that I've set, then that's all I'm bothered about. I've kind of hit a little bit of a wall. I've been so tempted to cast on a new project. Um, I think it's because I did, during November, I did a lot of small projects and I kind of just feel like I'm still in the small project zone and I'm itching to have something big to cast on just to sit and, you know that kind of feeling where you just sit and you're just working on one project for the day and you see massive progression and that, I'm kind of itching to see that, but I'm going to keep going. It's just a wall. I'm just part way through Advent. And I think if I start putting the granny square cardigan together, that'll eliminate a lot of me feeling like that. I haven't wound the yarn up yet. I just haven't had time, so maybe over the weekend I might get a chance to wind some yarn up for the main colour for the granny square cardigan and see how we get on. I have got about 50 grams of grey, but getting that same shade of grey again is going to be really tricky. It's one that um, I've dyed, but it's really hard to replicate it, so I don't want to use it and then not be able to get the same shade of grey to finish the cardigan. So... It might be enough to actually join the squares. I don't know. But yeah, so I've kind of hit a wall a little bit, but I'm just going to carry on. I'm looking forward to working on the C2C tonight. I've got some colours out from my stash to put into that. Um, because I'm not going to have today's mini going into the C2C, C2C because he ended up doing two squares of the granny square for that. But never mind, that's fine. Um, yeah. So Danny did manage to save a fair bit of the yarn. The good thing about it is a lot of it needed winding because it was tangled. Some of it he managed just to put back into a skein. It was fine. But some of it, or a lot of it, needed untangling. So he actually wound some up. So the bonus of it is <laughs> I actually have some yarn already wound up. They're not in any bags or anything. So he's just going to give me one each day. And that's absolutely fine. So, yeah, I hope you've all had a great day. It's been really cold. It's been, well, it's been freezing cold actually today, but we are going to hunker down for the evening. I've got some podcasts to watch and we are just going to have a really relaxed, chilled evening. 
and the dog is here on my knee. Come say hello, Rubes. You can just see her. There she is. She's just chilling. She's all snuggly now. And yeah. So I'm going to let you all go. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your evening and I will see you tomorrow for day 10.